On the football field, Denzel Goolsby leads the K-State Wildcats in tackles. He's also a team captain. But as KSNT's Sully Engels explains, it's his perseverance away from the field that stands out. Denzel Goolsby is more than just an athlete. Sure, he's a great defensive back when he's on the field behind me, but he's also set himself up to be successful in the business world and as a family man as well. He's a thinker, keeps his mind sharp by reading. One of his favorite books is Fearless by Eric Blem. It follows the trials and tribulations of Navy SEAL Adam Brown, who said, I'm not afraid of anything that might happen to me on this earth because I know no matter what, nothing can take my spirit from me. Goolsby can certainly relate. If I can just be a well-rounded individual, um, I think my impact is going to be a, a lot bigger than just maybe a, a good sports player or um, somebody that's a good student. And so for me, my, I, I just always try to focus on what's my legacy going to be after I'm done here. That mindset was developed long before the Wichita native took the field in Manhattan, and it blossomed as a result of struggle. Goolsby's father walked away from his family early in his high school days, leaving him and his mother in tough spots. They slept on floors for periods of time, but he wouldn't be deterred. It was a huge process of just growing up at a young age, and uh, I've always felt a lot older than I am. I've had people tell me that my whole life, and a lot of it was forced uh, to, to be that and to become that, and um, you just learn to really look at life in a different way. His work ethic became tireless. He'd run before the sun came up and cut grass to make money on the weekends. He turned the struggle into success and it started to pay off in the form of scholarship offers. My number one focus was short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. Between the time he accepted his offer to K-State and when he arrived on campus, he'd mended his relationship with his father. But the reunion was unfortunately brief. His dad passed away as his freshman year began at K-State, and on top of that, he lost both his grandmothers and his closest uncles over the next few years. You know, you go through that and it's easy to get upset at the world and people want to blame God, people want to blame um, everybody else around them and, and get angry and become bitter and become somebody that they're not. And uh, rather than let that happen, I just wanted to try to see what, what is it about life that, that makes it so valuable. He's found value in giving back and preparing for his future outside of football. He's going to earn his master's in 2020. And on top of that, he's been a part of the Big Brothers and Big Sisters program since his freshman year when he started mentoring a local kid named Shannon. Shannon waited a long time before he found his match in the program. When Goolsby heard that, the choice was easy. You know, being on a wait list for two years, wondering who his big brother is going to be in that program, why nobody's matched with him. And so for me, it's, it's a responsibility to give back to the community. You don't do good things for the recognition. Football helped Goolsby get out of a dark place, but he hasn't forgot what's made him, and he's doing much more to make sure he and his family are set for life. It's definitely helped me to, to have a grateful outlook on life. Um, it's helped me to try to become the best person that I possibly can be. And I think the, the best thing is you've never truly arrived. Um, you're always working on becoming that, that best version of yourself. Sully Engels, KSNT Sports.